playoff series at 42. Head coach Steve Kerr. 21 for 42 from three. Obviously a great percentage, but I think the percentage was a reflection of the clean looks we were getting. The fact that the guys weren't forcing anything. Michael Green, 15, getting the start for Sick Kavon Looney. Game three tomorrow night on KSRO. A's fall 5-3 of the Mariners. Swept out over the three-game series by Seattle. Rena Gold are an MLB worst 6-26 of there in Kansas City this afternoon. Giants host the Brewers tonight. Montgomery placing just enough in the last race, the 4 by 400 meter to hold off Santa Rosa and Maria Correa to win the boys' track and field league title. First NBL championship with Vikings since 2003. Big game for all the marbles in high school baseball. Windsor beat Cardinal Newman this afternoon. Cards win it to take the NBL Oak Division title outright. Jaguars win. They share the title for the second time in two years. Life's uncertain. It's okay to feel stressed, anxious, worried, or frustrated. Cal Oak can help. Access Cal Oak's free and secure mental health resources today. Call 833-317-4673 or live chat at calhope.org. Larry Olson, Sports at 13 and 43 past the hour. Mornings on KSRO. <laughs> It is 8.15 now at KSRO, and with the latest for your commute, here is Paul Maxwell. Thanks, Michelle. CHP on the scene in Napa for an accident. Northbound 29 just after 221. It's got the right lane blocked. There's also some spilled transmission fluid, so Caltrans cleanup crews are on the way. Solid backup to around Kelly, and a minor backup on westbound 12 Jameson Canyon approaching 29. Highway 12, some heaviness both directions between Boys Hot Springs and South Lake Sonoma Plaza. And seeing some brake lights, North 101 in Santa Rosa just after Todd in stretches up towards college. Also heavy Highway 12 between Farmers Lane and 4th. Your next update at 825. Now with Sonoma County's most accurate, most dependable forecast, here's Daniel Trusios. Thanks, Paul. High of 61 today with overcast and a slim chance of rain this afternoon. Mid-50s along the coast. Wind speeds 5 to 10 miles an hour inland. Might see some light rain for tonight, low 48. Maybe more rain again then for tomorrow because it just won't go away. A bit cloudy for Saturday. Temps in the low 60s again. Does clear up a bit for Sunday, but temperatures still in the 60s. 53 in Petaluma, 55 now in Roner Park. Uh, we've got uh, 51 degrees in Kenwood, 50 in Sonoma, and 52 in Santa Rosa. KSRO news time is 8.16. The news cycle never stops. People get the news everywhere, on every device, all the time. But what's crucial is accuracy and context and with perspective. KSRO delivers what you need to know. Just the facts. Covering the most important stories of the day and making sense of them. All day, every day. Make us your preferred station for local and national news, traffic and weather. Sonoma County's FM News Talk. KS. SRO. Agricultural Community Farmers Markets bring you fresh produce, meat, and dairy each week year-round. Saturday and Wednesday mornings, 8.30 to 1, the tradition continues at the Santa Rosa Community Farmers Market in Farmers Lane Plaza. Coyote Family Farm has bunches of spring flowers alongside their crisp salad greens. Fidel's Gourmet Growers has a great variety of fresh and local mushrooms. The Farmers Market is filled with spring blooms, including gorgeous tulips from Eddie's Farm. Jam has strawberries and blueberries. Santa Rosa Seafood offers the freshest fish around available every Saturday as well as specialty salads, chipino, clam chowder, and local oysters from Marin. Jamaican Jerk has hot prepared Jamaican food for lunch or dinner. The Italian Corner offers items like mushroom and sausage risotto, cashew alfredo sauce, chicken, lemon, ricotta, ravioli, and Dungeness crab ravioli. Chavez Pizza makes everything from scratch and bakes your pizza to order in a wood-fired oven. Expanded curbside shopping service available. Info online at ilovefarmersmarkets.org shoulder can have many causes. Arthritis, injuries from a fall, or just overdoing it with a chore like painting. Learn about the causes of shoulder pain, non-surgical options, treatments, and minimally invasive surgery. Get your questions answered by a trusted orthopedic physician with Sutter Health's Joints Plus program. From advanced physical therapy to robotic assisted surgery. Sign up for the free online seminar Thursday, May 11th at 6 p.m. Begin your path to a pain-free life. Go to KSRO.com and click on the Sutter banner. This is KSRO. We're Sonoma County's News Talk. If we plan to stay that way, KSRO, the 85 year tradition that will get the news. It is 819 now in KSRO, recapping the top local stories. A former UC Davis student has been arrested and is believed to be the one responsible for multiple stabbing attacks. 
faces two homicide charges and one charge of attempted murder. Sonoma County's Law Enforcement Oversight Office says some disciplinary actions taken by Sheriff's Department were insufficient. The audit found more than half of the internal investigations were incomplete. And a high-speed chase through the town of Sonoma reached speeds of over 100 miles per hour. The suspect eventually drove into the backyard of a home and was arrested. KSRO news time now is 819. The White House may be open to a short-term debt limit fix. We get the latest on the situation with ABC News White House correspondent Karen Travers. Good morning, Karen. Good morning. So what are we hearing from the Office of Management and Budget about the debt ceiling? Yeah, the So the big meeting next week between the president and Congress, yeah. but between now and th then, seems to be getting a little testy with the watch out, pothole on road ahead. The president saying the Republicans are going to cut funding to veterans, which is not good. Yeah, you know, and, and Republicans say that's not what the bill does. The White House says it could cut veterans' uh, care programs by 22 percent. Republicans say that's not true, but you know, there's nothing explicitly in the bill that cannot possibly get done. For those veterans' health care programs. So it's kind of a semantic back and forth. The bottom line is that the House House last week has no chance of going anywhere anyway uh, because it's not it's set on the right. Afterwards, we'll hear what was discussed. Uh, we'll hear from 
2002. We appreciate your time. Thanks so much, Karen. Have a great weekend. That is ABC News White House correspondent Karen Travers. KSRO News Time is 824. Four members of the far-right Proud Boys group were convicted of seditious conspiracy Thursday for their role in the January 6, 2021 attack on the U.S. Capitol. Former Proud Boys Chairman Enrique Tarrio's defense attorney, Nayib Hassan, says they plan to appeal. Do we respect the jury's verdict today? As, uh, we disagree with it, but we respect it. And at this point in time, we're currently drafting uh, all the appellate paperwork to proceed for it. A fifth Proud Boy member also on trial for seditious conspiracy has been found not guilty. Seditious conspiracy is defined as a plot to overthrow the government and it dates back to the Civil War era. The trial of the white nationalist group has been going on since December. It is 8.25 now at KSRO. And where will you see those slowdowns? Here is Paul Maxwell. Thanks, Michelle. CHP on the scene in Napa, northbound 29, just after 221. Accident involving a two-ton pickup truck. That's got the right lane blocked. It's backed up to Kelly. Minor backup on Jamison Canyon, approaching 29. West 37, slow off the Mare Island Bridge to the lane reduction. More brake lights, Sonoma Creek Bridge to 121. And Highway 12, that is just a lot of heaviness. Both directions between Boys Hot Springs and south of Sonoma Plaza. North 101 in Santa Rosa, stretches of heavy from just before Baker up towards College. Southbound, minor backup at Highway 12. Your next update at 835. Now with Sonoma County's most accurate, most dependable forecast, here's Daniel Trucios. Thanks, Paul. We do have a high of 61 today, 54 on the coast. We could still see some rain. It seems to be the common thread for this week. Overcast expected for today. Maybe some light rain for tonight as well, low 48 degrees. Very similar to tomorrow. Sunday, though, it looks like it'll be clearing a little bit. Temperatures are still staying in the mid-60s. Monday and Tuesday, part of the cloudy, no rain expected in the mid-60s still. 47 in Guerneville, 51 in Healdsburg, 55 in Broner Park, and 52 degrees in Santa Rosa. KSRO news time is 826. On Mother's Day weekend, Saturday, May 13th, from 11.30 a.m. to 3, the Church of the Roses at 2500 Patio Court in Santa Rosa presents their Spring Fling Luncheon. The theme is Around the World in 80 Hats in memory of Marjorie Donaldson, who bequeathed her exquisite collection of hats to the church. The Hattery of Sonoma County has spruced up the hats for sale. A photo booth with hats for all to try will be part of the fun. Treat your mom and friends to a delicious lunch. A fashion show featuring hats with outfits to match from the bird's nest clothing store in montgomery village wine tasting an art show and a silent auction all the funds raised go to community outreach programs tickets in advance go for twenty dollars or twenty five dollars at the door vip tables for eight are two hundred dollars saturday may 13th from 11 30 a.m to 3 p.m it's the spring fling fundraiser at church of the roses in santa rosa across from montgomery village for tickets or info call 707 -5 542-4272. Hi, I'm Brad Burgum, CFO of Poppy Bank Epicenter. Poppy Bank is a true community partner. There's nothing like dropping by Poppy Bank in downtown Santa Rosa and being greeted by name with a smile. These kinds of relationships are invaluable for local small businesses like ours. Thanks to Poppy Bank, we have recovered from the shutdowns and we are in a great position to thrive. Poppy Bank has been named Best Business Bank for a reason. Bank with a financial partner who lends locally. Visit poppy.bank for more information. P-O-P-P-Y dot bank. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. This week on My Sonoma Deals, for $50, receive a $100 voucher for Patisserie Angelica in Sebastopol. Patisserie Angelica is an award-winning Parisian-style bake shop using the freshest locally sourced ingredients. Enjoy high tea on Sundays or by reservation Tuesday through Saturday, indoors or on the patio. Sign up at MySonomaDeals.com to be able to take advantage of this great special. $50 for a $100 voucher for Patisserie Angelica. And the team at the Center for Spiritual Living continues to create a world that works for everyone. The Center for Spiritual Living in Santa Rosa invites you back with two identical in-person services each Sunday at 9 and 11. From 10 to 11, visit the art show and Stepping Stones books and gifts. You can also view services on the website, Facebook, and YouTube. Go to cslsr.org for more information and updates. Attend Wednesday evening meditations from home via Zoom. Take advantage of the telephone prayer ministry. Access videos of Sunday messages and resources like the online affirmative prayer library covering a variety of 
subjects. That's cslsr.org. On behalf of Edward Fillion and the staff, we are immensely grateful for the dozens of individuals and teams working to keep us connected and on our spiritual path as we study, pray, love, support, and serve together. Listen to Spiritual Living with Edward Fillion, Sundays at 8.30 a.m. right here on KSRL. I'm Brian Kilmeade, big show coming your way. The controversy on the subway, a 24-year-old Marine saves the day, but now is named a murderer. Should not be, he better not be charged. It's about to blow, I'm talking about the border. Will a Hail Mary save of legislation save the day? And details emerge on the methods and practice it used by Mike Burrell to wrangle 51 intel experts. It really affected the election. From Carly Shimkus to Rachel Campos Duffy, we'll have it all on the Brian Kilmeade Show. Don't move. This morning at 9.06 here on KSRO. Surgeons in Boston have performed groundbreaking brain surgery on a baby still in the womb. This is the first time the recent surgery has been done in the U.S. during routine 30-week ultrasound. Uh, doctors noticed that Louisiana couple Derek and Kenyatta Coleman's baby had a rare blood vessel abnormality in her brain, and they performed an operation. Sonoma County's News Talk, KSRO, on FM and 103.5 in Santa Rosa and Windsor, and now at 96.9 in Petaluma. Stocks are trading higher. The Dow's up over 400 points on the heels of a better-than-expected April jobs report. The U.S. economy added 253,000 jobs last month, while the unemployment rate fell to 3.4%. ABC business correspondent Alexis Christopher says we did see jobs added in professional and business services, health care, leisure and hospitality. We've been seeing that sort of month over month as we continue uh, to come out of the pandemic and those areas come back to life. Wages were up 4.4 percent. The World Health Organization says COVID-19 no longer qualifies as a global emergency. The virus has killed more than 6.9 million people worldwide. The owner of Russia's Wagner military contractor threatened to withdraw his forces from the Ukrainian city of Bakhmut, citing ammunition shortages, and the president of Serbia pledging major reforms to the country's gun laws after back-to-back -back mass shootings left at least 17 dead. Brian Clark, ABC News. From ABC News Tech Trends, it's World Password Day, and when it comes to our password habits, there's some room for improvement. If I had to use one word, it would be lazy. Patricia Chenyaskaita works for digital security firm NordPass. A new report from that company finds the most common password among Americans last year was the word guest, followed by 123456, and then the classic password. She says the prominence of weak passwords is nothing new, in part because of the sheer volume of accounts internet users now have to manage. So it's understandable, but it costs privacy. But passkey technology may offer a solution. It works by having users' phones generate unique cryptographic keys, which can then be used to get into various online accounts. All users have to do is log into their phones using a face scan, a fingerprint, or other security measure. The user won't have to remember the passkeys or any password. With tech threats, I'm Mike Dubusky, ABC News. For what it's worth, I'm Derek Dennis. The California Department of Civil Rights has launched a new hotline to combat hate crimes in the state. Victims or those who witness incidents can call 833 8 no hate. Kevin Kish is the director of the state civil rights department. This is a direct response to the recent disturbing rise in reports of hate-fueled violence across the country and across our state. Hate crimes in California jumping almost 33 percent from 2020 to 2021. The support hotline is an alternative to contacting law enforcement and connects victims with resources such as mental health services or even housing assistance. Bambi Salcido is a transgender activist and founder of the Los Angeles-based Trans-Latino Coalition. I wish I had this resource when I uh, when I was a uh, victim of the hurt crime that I experienced. For what it's worth, I'm Derek Dennis, ABC News. Live and local from our studios in Santa Rosa, this is Sonoma County's Morning News on Marconi Award-winning KSRO. Good morning. It is 8.33. Today is Friday, May 5th. Happy Cinco de Mayo. I'm Michelle Marquez. All right. I'm Larry Olson, Dan Tresio, our producer, web editor, Jeff Woodworth. And the timing is great. It's on a Friday. You can celebrate all weekend long. I love it. <laughs> can someone bring me a margarita now? Yeah. Stat. We need it. The studios. All right, uh, let's look at our top stories this morning. Body cam footage from 2020 shows a Sonoma County Sheriff's deputy put